Disclaimer. Please do not attempt any of the equestrian or veterinary processes featured in the video without consulting a professional or specialist first. Enjoy and stay safe. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm looking at horses that I want to buy and potentially might get. I'm looking for a show jumping horse and a liberty horse. I reached out to 9 of the owners and only 5 of them responded, so today I'll be looking at 5 horses. Some of the horses looked really skinny and sketchy like they had not been fed in days. I want a horse that will do well in performance. I want my horse to be happy, but I can't guarantee that. The first horse I'll be riding for today is the Grand Pearl, also known as Darcy. Feel free to pause the video and read the rest. The owner did say she does have a fabric allergy, but I think that's because the saddle is way too tight on her. She needs to buy a new one. I will say Darcy has a very excellent trot and it is definitely on point. She definitely does follow hand signals very well. And this horse comes with a bonus, she does dressage as well. I'll be trying out for today is Broken Moon, also known as Tucker. Feel free to pause the video and read the rest. When I first got there, it was pouring down rain, but eventually it cleared up. In conclusion, Tucker is a very fast horse and he has a lot of upper body strength which allows him to land softly.
course I'll be doing for today is Moonlight, also known as Trixie. Feel free to pause the video and read the rest. I could tell the owner was trying to hide Trixie's squirminess, but I immediately noticed as soon as I got on. I genuinely like competitive horses because they do well. It's just that this one puts a lot of my time and effort into this horse. And I actually just started college with Harper and I'm not gonna have a lot of time to spend with this horse if I'm training it constantly every day. The fourth horse I'll be trying for today is Top is a Prize, also known as Oakley. Feel free to pause the video and read the rest. I was a little scared of the owner. She was getting so angry at Chase. I feel like she wanted to hit him because he kept breaking. Chase is a very excellent show jumping horse, but his owner is kind of crazy and I noticed that he has bruise marks on him. So I'm thinking that the owner started hitting him for his bad behavior. He still performs really well though, but I'm starting to think that this horse could be on drugs then. This is where she told me to put on my gloves because she said it was dangerous and that I didn't have a firm grip on Chase and I could fall off and hurt him. The fifth horse I'll be riding for today is Dazzling Belle, also known as Buttercup. Feel free to pause the video and read the rest.
In conclusion, whenever she goes over two jumps in a row, I feel like I'm riding on wind and this horse is very good at jumping. All of these horses did amazing and it's going to be very difficult to choose between them. In the comments, put who I should buy and why. I started on a smooth path and didn't realize that there was a rocky road ahead and this video took a long time to make so please appreciate it. Thank you so much Harper Cloudness and Piper Turtlewell for making this video happen. You guys helped me out with editing so much. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. I love you guys so much. See you soon.